Neuromodulation encapsulates a variety of different treatments, often involving uh, different forms of technology to change the way that neurons work. Uh, for instance, very early on in, I guess, modern psychiatry, we started using what is called ECT or electroconvulsive therapy, which uses an electrical current to stimulate brain cells uh, and, and create alterations to help promote better functioning and treatment of mood disorders and psychotic disorders uh, and, and even treatment resistant diseases. We've utilized ECT for over 80 years now and the reason that we continue to use it is because it's the most effective treatment we have for uh, major depressive episodes, whether they're part of major depressive disorder or bipolar disorder. Uh, over the years, ECT has been modified to use anesthesia and paralytic agents so it's more tolerable and comfortable for patients. The idea is to use an electrical current to stimulate a short seizure uh, for a patient while they're asleep in a medically supervised setting a number of times over a course of several weeks to help stimulate better brain functioning and neuron growth uh, so that we can see improvement in states like treatment-resistant depression, resistant thoughts of self-harm, bipolar disorders, and psychotic disorders. Um, transmagnetic stimulation is different. It does it uses a magnet instead of an electrical impulse to create that same kind of uh, change pattern in the brain. TMS or uh, RTMS uh, refers to repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation. And basically what we're doing is that we have a machine that'll run an electrical current through treatment coils. And those treatment coils will produce a magnetic field over a very specific area of the brain that's associated with depression. What we do is oscillate or turn that field off and on very rapidly, numbering in the thousands of times per a 20 to 30 minute session to help stimulate neurons to fire more quickly and more effective in that area. 